appreciate being invited. Colonel McCaffrey, Sergeant Major McCaffrey, Lieutenant Colonel Bushnell, Sergeant Major Severino, Captain Shirley Cook, Shirley Seaflin. It's an honor, as I've said before. I appreciate being here. Thank you very much for your very effusive praise. I would like to put it in proper perspective by quoting the words of General Eisenhower. He said that humility must always be the portion of any individual whose acclaim is earned by the blood of his soldiers and the sacrifices of his friends. My soldiers, my friends, are responsible for any success that I have. They deserve all the credit. I'm honored to be asked to speak to you today. We, you and I, the members of the graduating class, are from different backgrounds. We're AG, infantry, armor, medical service school, military intelligence, all sorts of backgrounds, all sorts of different branches, and we have different mindsets. But we're alike in one very significant characteristic. All of us at one time or another have written out a blank check payable to the order of the government of the United States of America for an amount up to and including our lives. We're fulfilling the primary responsibility of any civilian, any citizen, and that is to be prepared to defend this country when called upon to do so. What I have to say today applies to all of us, to you, members of the graduating class, and to me. As the title of my remarks, I'm going to use a recruiting slogan from way back, be all you can be. I believe it's the best slogan we ever had. You're going to be second lieutenants in just a few moments. You will be leaders of a platoon or section. You can be the leader that your soldiers deserve. You can be all that you want to be. Vince Lombardi, that great pro football coach, had this to say. A man can be as great as he wants to be. If you believe in yourself and have the courage, the determination, the dedication, the competitive drive, and if you're willing to sacrifice the little things in life and pay the price for the things that are worthwhile, it can be done. Notice that Coach Lombardi said that you can be all that you want to be, but you have to work at it to pay the price to achieve that goal. My first suggestion to you is decide what it is you want to be, what you want to become, and then begin today to pay the price if you have not already begun in the past. Bart Starr, one of Coach Lombardi's uh, players, said that the man, speaking of Coach Lombardi, was a perfectionist. He was never satisfied simply by victory. He always wanted us to play the best that we were capable of playing. My second recommendation to you then is never be satisfied. You can always be better. You cannot change the hand that fate has dealt you, but you can determine how you play that hand. Life is not a crapshoot where you have no control over the roll of the dice. Life is a contest of combining both chance and skill. You can affect the outcome whether you win or lose by how you play that hand. The decisions you make along the way, how hard you try, how hard you train, how you lead, fate, luck, divine intervention, one or a combination of those factors may influence the score at the end of the game, whether you won or lost the battle. But you are the final determinant of that score. You will have had the training that you need. You have completed OCS and you will attend your branch school where you will learn the specifics of your profession. You will be qualified for your responsibility. Have confidence in yourself. You can do it. Some of you have some real world experience. Some are combat veterans. For some of you, your experience is no limit. However, do not feel inadequate in any way. You will have the training required. You will be qualified to lead. While leading a platoon or section, most of you, if not all, will be deployed to a combat theater. Wherever you go, ask yourself, am I the leader my soldiers deserve? 
Am I the leader I want to be? What may be more important, am I the leader I can be? You determine the person you become, who you really are by what you do each day. Every decision, every act has a never-ending impact. Although that influence may be unseen, it is there. Whether you choose instant gratification or long-term benefit, whether you train hard and smart, whether you're a man or woman of your word, how you treat others, and particularly those who, because of their status, may be vulnerable to what you do, whether you constantly seek improvement, all of these actions will determine the leader that you will become. Although you can decide how good a leader you want to be, the sooner you make that decision and begin to work, begin to dedicate everything that you have within you, the sooner you will achieve your goal. The Cherokees tell us you are who you are by what you choose to cultivate. And all worthy performances are made up of very little parts. The Book of Virtues restates this truism with the sum of our actions. And therefore, our habits make the difference. You determine what you are today by the way that you have lived the days of your past. You will decide what you are to become by what you do today and tomorrow. You are a creature of habit. Build the habit of doing the right thing, of striving for excellence, of training to stand it, and you will become a leader of whom your soldiers are proud and will gladly follow. When you access, accept less than your best from yourself, or from your soldiers, you are establishing a custom or a level or a standard of mediocrity. How you live each day of your life, your attention to your responsibilities, your leisure activities, your relations with your peers, superiors, friends, and families, your language, but determining the reputation, that's what others think of you. 